Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss with you how you can create a successful company page, especially on LinkedIn. If you're a marketer or a business professional or a business owner, try to create your thought leadership on your company page and struggling what are the best tips and tricks that you can actually apply as ex LinkedIn employee, I would like to share my best tips and tricks with you. Let's get started. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome. In this channel, I'm sharing my best tips and tricks with you as an ex-LinkedIn employee to show me what are the things you can actually do in LinkedIn platform. And I'm sharing my career tips and tricks with you. Currently as a Google employee and worked in high-tech companies and served a lot of companies and schools, I'm doing my best to help students, professionals to find the dream jobs that you are looking for and help you succeed on your career. So before I deep dive on the topic, if you want to know more about the LinkedIn tips and the tricks and career tips and the tricks, don't forget to look at and check my other videos. So today, let's go over how you can create a successful company page. LinkedIn company page actually is the voice of your organization if you are using it in the best practices format. So I'm going to walk you through how you can actually create a company page in the LinkedIn platform and I'm going to share with you my best tips and tricks with you, how you can create organic reach and then we can cover the advertising portion of a different video as well. But today I wanna to cover about the organic reach and how you can be successful. So let me walk you through by screen sharing and how we can actually create a successful company page. So to create a company page and LinkedIn page, you need to click on the work icon in the top right corner of your LinkedIn homepage. Click create a company page. You will also select this option to create a page for school. Select the page type you would like to create from the following options. It can be small business, medium to large businesses, creating a showcase page, or you can create a page if you're an educational institution. Enter your page identity, company or institution details, and profile detailed information. Check the verification box to confirm you have a right to act on behalf of that company or the school in the creation of the page. Click Create Page. If you receive a red error message, you may not meet the page creation requirements or have reached the limit of the page created. Click start building your page. So when you build your page, the first thing you're going to think about that, hey, what type of content I should be posting? My recommendation is if you're looking for a viral reach and if you want people to share your content, try to create as evergreen content as possible. This can be video, but the main important thing that you should not forget is creating captions within the video. And I can share with you some like companies who can actually create captions for you and I'm gonna link them on the description below. If you create the video or evergreen content, it's important for you to encourage your employees to share your content as well. There are multiple options that you can actually do to help your employers to share that. LinkedIn has a separate platform where you can actually have your employees gather around and share the content that you're posting and you can measure the success. That platform is called Elevator and it's actually not free for the companies, so you need to pay for it. But if you're looking for an organic reach, my recommendation is using an automation tool. This can be HubSpot or this can be Marketo. So if you're a little bigger organization, using Marketo might be a better option. If you're a small business, HubSpot will be a better option as well. Sometimes posting a content can be challenging because even if you have the automation, some of the automation tools might not be reading the LinkedIn platform as well. As a side note that I want to share with you is, Zapier is a third-party platform. It connects LinkedIn and HubSpot or LinkedIn automation tools. So it's important for you to check these platforms. I'm going to put the link description below so you can actually check them out. Especially in the long run, if you're planning to advertise on LinkedIn, using these automation tools will be very important for you. When creating a LinkedIn company page, try not to abandon the page. Because what I've been seeing from the other companies, especially when I was working on LinkedIn, they create these company pages, but they are not posting anything else. Or sometimes they say that we have nothing to post, but I will challenge you on that. When you are creating a company page, here are a couple of things that you can actually post on your LinkedIn and gain some momentum. First one, as I mentioned, the video with the captions. Because as you know, in LinkedIn, or you might not know, more than 80% of the LinkedIn audience is watching the content in silent mode. So try to put the captions so you can actually gather the audience attention. 
The other thing you can actually do is post some evergreen content, but this can be related to your company, this can be related to your company culture, but try not to post anything that's like salesy or just like only putting the links and stuff. Because if you're just like constantly putting the links and just like promoting your content, sometimes people might follow you, but they might also unfollow you as well because no one wants to be sold to. So try to add some value. When you give value to your audience, they will come back and follow your content as well. So similar to YouTube, actually, you're just watching these videos and if you really like the content, you will be subscribing because you want to see more about the content. By the way, if you want to know more, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be creating more and more videos about this one. So right now in this video, I'm covering the organic portion and organic growth on the company page. But if you want to know more about the advertising portion or other LinkedIn related stuff, you can just subscribe or just check out my other videos as well. Other thing that I really want to mention to you is encourage your employers to be active on the platform because the more they share about their thoughts and the cultural events or the news about the company, their connections will see your company page and they can end up following you as well. Other thing that you can do other than the organic reach in the LinkedIn company pages is you can do some advertising that's called sponsored content on LinkedIn. It's really big real estate that I can just show with you in here. When people are scrolling through the news feed, they will be seeing your company page. And when you're advertising, you can activate the little check mark that shows follow button on the sponsored content. And this way people can follow you as well. On sponsored content, when people click on the follow or when they click on the link that you're advertising, you'll be charged. LinkedIn is a little bit expensive platform on the sponsored content, but it's one of the best platforms you can actually advertise because it's a B2B space. It's business to business, business minded people. So it's a real effective platform if you really want to do some advertising there to increase your company page followers. If there are other questions on your mind and if you want me to answer them, don't forget to write them down in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.